Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can do a fresh install or clean install of Windows 10. Now you're going to need to change the boot order in your BIOS or UEFI BIOS and you can see the instructions on the screen right there. Click any of those uh, keys to get into the BIOS. Then we're going to click on settings here and then boot. This is on a UEFI BIOS, mine's an MSI uh, BIOS, yours may be different. Then we're going to select boot mode select and then click on that and once we've got that open we are going to then select legacy plus UEFI. I'm going to close that off and then we're going to click on boot option 1. Click on that and then we're going to change the boot option to boot to our USB hard disk or you can change it to USB CD or DVD. Then we're going to click on advanced and from there we're going to click on USB configuration. Inside USB configuration we're just going to make sure legacy USB support is enabled and uh, we want to make sure that is uh, saved so we're going to click yes to save this configuration. Now click save and exit and we're ready to install Windows. Okay so we've changed our boot order to boot to CD or USB flash drive depending on what you want to boot to. And now we've got that, the installation will start. The next box that's going to come up is your Windows Setup box. And this is going to ask you for your language that you want to support uh, uh, to support for the installation. We're going to be doing English uh, United Kingdom. And uh, we're going to go Next. Now you've got your Install button. You just need to click on your Install button here. That's going to start the uh, setup process to install Windows. Now we're going to end up with our product key here. You can enter your product key. Now if you've purchased a copy of Windows 10 with a product key, this is where you put your product key in. I'm going to skip this for now. Now we've got our license terms. I'm going to accept those and go next. Now here you can see we've got two tabs. We've got upgrade install windows and keep files settings and applications and we've also got custom install which is a fresh complete install of windows now if you are upgrading for the first time and you've not installed windows 10 yet and you're getting a free upgrade from microsoft then you will need to go through the upgrade process before you complete a clean install so you'll get the option to install an upgrade and keep nothing uh, but the best way to go here for us is the install for Windows only and this is going to be a clean install. This is what we're doing in this video. So now you can see here we've got one drive which is unallocated space of 60 gigabytes. Now you may have a drive that's already been used and it's got partitions on it that you want to keep. They will be listed here and you do not want to touch those. So for instance if it's E or D or something like that and you want to keep those drives leave them well alone and just select the actual drive that you want to install Windows onto. Now you can create new partitions here and format those partitions, delete partitions and stuff like that, refresh and load driver. We're just going to click on next on our space here and that will start the installation of Windows onto that partition. Pretty straightforward stuff. I'll speed this process up. So you will get a few reboots in this process of installation. You just have to sit back and let it do its thing really. So okay we're at this stage now where it's now prompting us to it's time now to enter your product key. So as you can see here they want us to enter our product key to continue but you can also do this later on. But if you have got your product key this is the place to add it in. I'm going to add in a, just a generic uh, key. So as you can see I've entered in a generic key. Now this key will not activate and give you a free copy of Windows 10 so don't think that that is a legitimate key it's just a generic key that um, you can install so I'm just going to next okay this is the stage 
that everyone is paranoid about with the um, spine stuff that they say Microsoft are doing. So if you use Express settings, you can change these at a later date if you wish. But if you do wish to customize some of them now, you can also do that here. And you can see here, personalize your speech typing and uh, in inking uh, input by sending contacts and calendar details along with other associated input data to Microsoft. Now, if you want to opt out here, you can just turn that off, uh, send typing and stuff. You can just disable whatever you want to disable or enable, okay? Now, some people uh, want to leave certain parts enabled or disabled. It's entirely up to you. Uh, browser protection, this is a good one to have. A uh, smart screen for protecting against malicious content, i.e. dodgy links and uh, and stuff like that. So you can see here, um, we're going to turn this one off because it wants to send your browser data will be sent to Microsoft. We're going to turn that off. Again, it's entirely up to you what you want to send and what you don't want to send. So I'm just going to check down here as well. Let me just turn that one off. I'll leave that one on. I'm going to go back one and just make sure that everything's right. Okay, that's good. We're going to go next and then just let that continue. That's just going to change those options for us. Okay, so next up we've got Make It Yours, and as you can see here, your account opens up a world of, of benefits. Sign in to your personalized experience. Now, you can learn more here by clicking on this, or you can just put in an email or phone or password. No account, you can create a new one, or you can just skip this step for now. I'm just going to skip this step. And uh, again, we're just going to put in here a name and a password. If you want to use a password, I'm just going to make a simple password for this. There you go. That'll do. And uh, we're just going to go next. Okay, that's it. That's the installation complete. We're now at the desktop, as you can see, of our operating system. Okay, so there's just one more thing I just want to add in here. If you did do the skip the add a license key all the way through and you got to the desktop now and you want to still add in your product key now, then I'm going to show you how to do that. Maybe you didn't have your product key at the time and you want to now add it in and I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Now I'm going to come down to where it's the little Windows logo here, which I'm going to call the start button, which it isn't a start button anymore, but we're going to call it that. And uh, you can come in here and uh, click on settings here. Now, once you get the settings open, you want to see where it says Windows isn't activated. Activate Windows now. Okay. Now, once you click on this, you'll be able to activate your Windows, as you can see here. Change your product key uh, to activate Windows, enter a different product key, and you can click on this and you can enter your product key. And this is where you add that in, okay? Pretty straightforward. So you just click on this, and this will open up your change product key. Click yes, and you put your product key inside here, and away you go. And then click on activate, and that should be activated. You should then see when you get back to this window your Windows has been activated. It will say Windows is activated. Or you can check other places as well, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to just quickly show you another place, which is the usual place, which you normally check. Right click on this PC, click Properties, and you will see here that it says Windows is not activated. But once you've activated, you should see Windows is now activated. And you can also activate Windows from here as well. And there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward to do. Much more easier, less, there's less interaction on the installation of Windows 10 than previous 
versions of uh, Windows. You used to have to do a lot more involvement when you get to installing it. Now it's just a simple case of booting up to a USB or a CD and just let the installation continue and put in some details and that is just about it really. It's that simple. So anyway, that's how you can do a clean install of Windows 10. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or you've got any questions or anything like that, you can always head over to my forums and join up over there. It's free to join and join the community. You might even learn something over there. So anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.